Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Leyland and welcome to Honda Racing TV. <laughs> Welcome to episode 13, where we're here at the Barcelona circuit for a very special meeting of riders, drivers and machines for the Castrol Honda experience. Where else can you get MotoGP, superbikes, touring cars and Formula One all in one place? Only with Honda. We join Honda stars from the worlds of two and four wheels in Barcelona. We chat with LCR Honda MotoGP star Cal Crutchlow. We look at Michele Chervelin aboard the new 2018 CRF 250 RW. The Castro Honda partnership can trace its roots back to 1959 when Honda first started competing in the Isle of Man TT races. And now, 58 years later, the partnership is stronger than ever. A special VIP guest program at the Barcelona circuit celebrated the strength and breadth of this relationship in a star-studded lineup. In Castrol and Honda have this amazing heritage of racing together, but it's not just about racing. Our partnership is also about cooperating and jointly developing technology, new advanced Castrol products to benefit the end consumers of Honda vehicles and cooperate Honda and Castrol together in marketing and improving both our businesses and brands going forward. Castrol and Honda have a real rich heritage and history of racing together, which started way back at the Isle of Man TT race in 1958. And since then, we've uh, achieved over 500 international motorcycle victories together. Uh, we've been involved in GP as it's developed, GP500. And we had an amazing dominant area in World Superbikes in the 2000s. Right through to now, where we partner with LCR Honda in MotoGP. Uh, we're also the title sponsor with the Honda World Touring Car Team. And we have a long history, as I say, in World Superbikes. So we have this amazing portfolio of Castrol and Honda racing together combined with this great rich history of the two brands. So we look forward to today where we bring that all together, we celebrate our heritage and history through some of the iconic imagery and we bring together all the riders and the vehicles and cars and share that with some of the key customers, Honda dealers and our Castrol individuals today to have a Castrol Honda experience event. Do I need a helmet? Uh, yes. Daco, get me a helmet, mate. <laughs> get that van doing, I'll race you. Yeah, well obviously uh, Castro are a big part of, uh, of MotoGP and the LCR Honda team. Um, so it's a privilege to be here in Barcelona um, to come and meet some of the people that Castro invited along. Uh, obviously they've got the, the demo laps in the cars. We did some demo laps on the on the motorbikes and uh, yeah, it's a privilege to uh, to be here. And I got to sample the Type R, which was, which was good fun as well. It's been 10 years since I drove uh, a Honda Type R and uh, yeah, they've really, really improved. And I didn't know road cars went that fast anymore, to be honest, so it was good fun. Uh, yeah, it was great to uh, you know have a kind of different experience driving a, a WTCC car. Um, now I've always wanted to you know have a kind of go with uh, with touring cars, and and you know today was a great opportunity for that.
Having just signed another two-year deal with Honda Racing Corporation and LCR Honda MotoGP, Cal Crutchlow has extended a relationship which began in 2015 and has yielded two victories and four podiums. We caught up with the Brit as he and his team demonstrated a special Castrol livery. Yeah, I'm very happy to be staying with HRC, Honda and, uh, and the RCR team. Uh, we've worked very closely for three years. Also with Honda, you know, I've worked very closely with my team, but also our relationship with Honda is growing all the time. Um, we get great support already as a satellite team, and now I think it will continue and, uh, and be even more. And, you know, we will be even closer to them. So, yeah, I'm really happy to, to renew for two years. Um, I'm looking forward to the to the project again, um, helping develop the bike and making sure that Honda is at the front um, and always trying our best. MotoGP since 2015 has changed with the, a lot with the Michelin and also with the, uh, um, the electronic um, ECU, you know, everybody's on the same, same tyres and same, same electronic. So, over the years, it's been difficult to, to manage the situation as a rider because there's so many things changing. I changed teams three, year, three times, um, but now I feel a, a great place at home with, with the LCR Honda team and with Honda. Um, but yeah, he's ever evolving and I think Dorna are doing a great job with, uh, with regards to making the rules very fair for the manufacturers and the riders and uh, we look forward to the future. Yeah, I think the Castro livery looked fantastic. Um, obviously, the years when I was a kid watching Aaron Slight and then uh, Colin Edwards riding uh, the bike and also Joey Dunlop at the TT. Um, yeah, it was a great, great privilege and a great pleasure to be able to ride uh, in this retro colour, Castro colour in, uh, in Silverstone. Um, another fo form of motorsport that I would like a go at would be um, probably Formula One. Um, I don't really know why, but I don't think I would be very good. Um, but it would be fun to be able to, uh, yeah, to do a swap with uh, with another form of motorsport. I think would be very difficult. Uh, I'm very happy with my job, um, but if I had to, I would probably change with a Formula One driver. Over to two wheels of a different kind. Team HRC MX2 rider Michaeli Chervlin gave the all new 2018 CRF 250 RW its racing debut in the USA in August. Let's see what he and his engineer Roger Shenton had to say about the new machine. As you can see, this is the, the, our factory model, 2018 bike written by Michele Chevaline. First race on this will be in the USA. I'm really excited to ride with the new bike. It's nice, it's totally different. The frame, the engine. We have new design rear shock. The chassis is very, very similar to the 450. Brand new engine and the electric start. This new bike has a DOH cylinder head. In the result, this achieved a high performance acceleration. I think it's a really oil shot bike. <laughs> this about six weeks ago back in Japan but this is the first time this bike has been in Europe. Here in Holland um, with the deep sand tracks it's good to get a feeling how this bike performs. About this test is second time with the bike after Japan. Uh, we improved uh, with the team, with the crew from the suspension and from the engine. The crew is 
positive when I go out. I say my opinion about the bike and it's easy to work and I think understand with what we, we mean to the bike. We are very excited to enter this new bike in Sempetia's MXGP. I'm excited. The first rider ride the GP with the new bike. I do my best for the bike, for Honda and for myself. Well, that's it, guys, from episode 13. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned to more episodes of Honda Racing TV right here on HondaProRacing.com.